pretty sad about it. No, I am. Excellent situational day for us. We went through uh, all the special team situations that can come up in a game, and uh, our guys were focused and locked in for that. Created some situations at the end of the game there that don't come up very often. We weren't as focused there, but we needed to go through that. It was our first time going through it. It was a good practice for us. Kind of a different kind of practice, uh, as you guys know, but very effective. Trying to get ready for Saturday night. Simulated our pregame routine, how we're going to come out of the tunnel, how we're going to stretch. I mean, you have to go back and you have to hit every single little detail uh, in order to get it right. So that's what we're trying to do, and I guarantee we still miss something. So, But we're, we're trying to get it right. So. Uh, thus far, I think it's been a really productive spring for us. Uh, we need to finish off strong Saturday night, uh, but just seeing a lot of improvement in this team from an emotional standpoint, maturity-wise, um, from a physical standpoint, and knowing what to do mentally, uh, I feel like we're on the right, the right track. We got a ton of work to do, though, and we're a long way from our objective, and it's going to take a heck of a commitment by all of us. And, uh, but I see a team that's willing to make that commitment. Now they got to make it, and we got to make it minute after minute, second after second, until this season's over. So, there you got it. The uh, things at the end they were not so focused on, was that kind no, of... No, they were. It, it's, it, it, listen, I hope none of them watch this. Sometimes you got to leave them with a freaking sense of... <laughs> fear. You know, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Quite yeah. A, but the, yeah. It, it, those were, those last situations, okay, fourth and five for the football game. Someone wins, someone loses. If you stop them on defense, game's over. If you convert on offense, you get to keep going. Fourth and 20, okay? There's a tendency on defense, it's just this natural tendency to let down a little bit. You can't do it. We saw Ray Rice last year against the uh, San Diego Chargers on fourth and 29 convert. You know, you go oh, fourth and 20, we got him. You never got him. The worst three words you can say ever in, comp in competition is, I got it. When you say, I got it, you're done. Okay, fourth and nine. All right, we intercept the ball in the end zone. We go down, the game's over. We run it out, we got a chance to lose. So we got to go through those situations to learn, you know? So we're going to keep doing it. I mean, I just think those are the moments that may or may not come up in a certain in a season, but if they do, you better be prepared. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> long, another long answer by me. I'll wear you out, I guarantee. I'll wear you out, you'll stop showing up. It's, gonna be, it's my I, goal. Did I tell you I have a 17-year-old kid? You are not even close. I know. <laughs> Can you talk about some of the specific things, uh, specifics that you want to get out of the game? The game and what do you want to see, like number two quarterback emerge, things like that? I don't think that's going to happen in a game. I think that happens through the course of spring. Uh, I want to see us go in and be intense, organized, competitive. Uh, I want us to put on a, a show, and I don't mean a show in the sense of a Hollywood show, but a demonstrate what this team's capable of for our fans so they get excited about our energy. Uh, I'd like, I want to come out of it healthy. You know, we're going to have about a 60 play game situations at the end of the, you know, at the, at the end. We're going to do some individual, we're going to do some pass rush, we're going to do some one-on-one, -on -one, you know, we're going to do all those things. We're going to do pride alley. But, uh, you know, I want us to see us be able to get in a, in a new environment, the Rose Bowl, where it's more vast than this. And, and there's crowd there and focus and not be distracted by the stuff and just focus on the task and execute. That's what I want to see. In terms of that number two, quarterback, where does that stand right now? It's, it's, so, it's completely wide open. It's, it's TJ and it's Jerry and it's Mike and it's Jake and it's Asante. I mean, it's, it's, that's, don't start the number two quarterback thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, it's wide open. You're even in the race. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Guys like Ellis and um, Kylie, are they expected yes. to come play this week? No, Ellis, no. Kylie, yes. Okay. Yeah, Ellis, no. No. I know we asked you at the halfway point who you thought was standing out. Is that list still the same, or is there anyone that kind of added themselves to that list? Absolutely. Guys have jumped up. Um, I don't know if when you asked me before I mentioned uh, uh, Kenny Orgioki. No. In the last couple of weeks, Kenny Orgioki has just jumped. I mean, he's jumped. And, um, you know, he, I don't know if you guys know this, like he's still 17 years old, and he's still maturing, but you're starting to see it. Uh, ben Wysocki has jumped. Um, AJ's still doing well. Um, I'm looking around, I'm trying to think of some other guys that have jumped out at me that I didn't mention last time. Uh, Brandon, um, 
he's been consistent. I'm looking for guys that jumped out at me. Those are the guys that kind of jumped out at me. And, and the one in particular is Kenny. You know, all of a sudden he looks like he can be a, an outside linebacker and play and help you win at this level. So is, we're hoping he keeps developing. Is he someone that could push Aaron Wallace? I know you said Absolutely. he was pretty. Absolutely. Pretty set in that spot. Well, hey, the competition at that left outside linebacker spot is going to be fierce in the fall because there's a couple kids coming in in this class that are special players. So between Aaron Wallace and Kenny Orgioki and Miles Jack and Deion Hollins, and then you throw Anthony Barr in there, that's a great group of linebackers. So I can't wait to see the competition. They're going to push each other to get better. It's going to be outstanding for, for this football team. Are any of those incoming freshmen going to be considered for your special packages, the nickel and dime packages on the inside like you had McKay and, and Hilliard last year? It depends on how they develop. You know, uh, Jayon Brown is a guy that could potentially fit in that role. Uh, Cameron Judge is a guy that could potentially fit in that role. It all depends on how they develop through those first couple weeks of, of fall and how much time we can get them in those early games. And if they, you know, we're looking for guys that go out on the field and win. Down after down after down. It doesn't matter if they're freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors. So uh, if they come in here and they demonstrate that, that, that they are the best guy to give us a chance to win, then they're going to be the guy that plays. But I expect the competition to be great because Taylor and Stan have stepped up. So it, it's just going to make our team better. The position, there's two positions that the young guys have to come in with the mindset that they're going to start. Now, whether they start or not, I don't know, but they have to come in thinking, not only am I going to start, but I'm going to help this team win, and that's offensive line and then the secondary. What about uh, Alberto Sid? Don't know where he is right now. I mean, I know where he is physically, but I don't know where he is in terms of his recovery. I think he just tweeted that he said he was, he, I think he just tweeted and said he was, he was done. Okay, well, we've had discussions. He, uh, he was, you know, as of last night, he was sitting down with his family and discussing where they wanted to go. Um, I haven't talked to him yet this morning, um, but if that's what he tweeted and it's it's the official Alberto Sid <laughs> Twitter <laughs> page, then you know uh, I guess I'll address it on Saturday when I talk to him. Tell us about the progression of Jerry Newhouse at quarterback last year or this year. Well, I've always liked Jerry, as you guys know. I mean, I, I thought last year he was a good player, and I think he's better this year. Um, he's like his dad. I mean, he's smart. He knows football. He understands situations. Uh, he's like all young players. He has to become more consistent in his game, in all parts of his game, the mental part and the physical. But the great thing about Jerry is he works at it. He wants to be a good player. and he, 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 He's got leadership qualities that are just kind of built into his personality. You know, I'm a Jerry Neuheiser fan. I always have been. I think that he could go out and, and perform fine for us in a game. I don't know if at this point in his career he's ready to go out there and just win games for us, but I think at some point in his career he will be, just like, just like his dad was. You know, you underestimate those guys, and man, all of a sudden they turn into something special. Is there anything different about the energy at the end of the spring compared to last year? Just, we're a much more mature football team. We're more focused. They, they understand situations. There's, a, there's so much better recall for them. Uh, they've been through it now for a spring, an entire season, and now another spring. So we're just further along emotionally and, and in our emotional maturity. And that's, that's encouraging. Now what we have to do is when the freshmen come in, we've got to get them right up to our level as fast as we can. Because they don't get it. There's no grace period. There's no free pass. Like, oh, I'm going to ease. You don't ease into anything around here. You've got to jump in and be ready to go. How about the okay. draft tonight? How excited are you? For well, I'm excited. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. It, the, the, the draft is so uh, it's so unpredictable. You know, I mean, you kind of have a feel for the top few picks, but after that, it's so unpredictable, and you don't know what people are thinking. You know, I just wish the best for all those guys. I hope that I hope that UCLA Bruins name gets called or two gets called tonight. You know, I don't know if they will or won't. I, I know those guys are going to be sitting on pins and needles all day and really all weekend until it's all over with. All right. Hey, Coach, I need a bus fare. Could you? <laughs>